Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in the SDL2 C++ programming series. In this lesson, I'm going to do something a little bit different and just show you some tools that you can use to create some sounds. So if you haven't checked out the previous lesson for how to play sounds in SDL, please do that. This one's just for fun and going to show you some tools. So with that said, a quick recap of the previous lesson, and then we'll just go ahead and dive into some tools. So. From last lesson, recall that we built this sound interface here. And we had the basic ability to play some sounds and stop some sounds. Again, here's our actual interface and here's what we wound up with. Now again, I might decide to make a few changes here with setting up the device and some of these things that could be done perhaps more efficiently. And perhaps you've gone ahead and added some more power with things like being able to loop your sounds, for example. So you could do something by checking maybe if you're at the end of your wavelength or if the start means meets the end then that means well your sound's done playing so just cue it up to play again so that would be an idea of how you could loop your audio for example anyways that's another problem to solve what i basically want you to do this lesson is to toy around and make some sounds very soon we're going to be doing a little game project in a future lesson and it's more interesting if you've created some of the sounds yourself and there's a really easy way to do so I like this tool called BFXR, which is essentially a synthesizer. And I'll let you create these really simple sounds that you've heard in classic games like Super Mario and so on for jumping, collecting coins, and so on. So I'm actually gonna hop over on my Mac or my Windows machine to show you this in use because that's how it is. Now, that said, I'm a Linux user most of the time. So if you're missing some of those tools, Audacity is also a great free tool that has a synthesizer with it. So go ahead and take some time to play around with some of the synth capabilities. Otherwise, there's all sorts of other free online tools that can let you make little sounds and sound effects. If you search something like sound effect generator or synth, I'm sure you'll get lots of results. Anyway, let me show you this one because I think it's particularly neat and useful for games. Alrighty folks, so here is the BFXR tool. And again, it was a tool that was based off of some other tools here. So I'll just give some credits to these authors as well. And essentially it came out of some uh, hackathons here. Uh, and basically what this is, is a synthesizer tool to create sounds by basically creating different patterns of sound waves and applying different effects here. So this is essentially what's going on when you hear some of these classic sounds from games. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here and you'll hear a sound here or maybe something more jump-like or on a hit or a power or maybe a laser and you sort of get the idea here. So I think it's worthwhile to actually play around with some of these sounds and this tool. So while I'm not a synth expert, I am going to go ahead and create a few sounds for uh, one of the game projects that's coming up just so that you'll have those available. So you can just click save to disk here if you're on Windows or Mac. Again, if you're on Linux, you can find similar tools like this or Audacity or other ones for just creating some things. So some things to know about with these synthesizers. Um, these are different types of noise. And again, there's little tool tips here that'll sort of help you have an idea of what's going on here. So you can sort of change the different uh, types based on the sound here. So let's start with a laser and maybe adjust it a little bit so that it has a more of a pink noise sound and you could increase the time here. And again, there are handy tool tips here that can explain it just as well as I can for various sounds here. So we can start with something like that, maybe a little bit. And you sort of get the idea here. Maybe we have it sustained. And maybe we compress the sound and make it a little bit less. Anyway, you get the idea. And sometimes you can honestly just hit randomize and come up with interesting enough sound effects for your games. So anyway, that's all I want to show you. And I think it'll be useful, especially for those of you focusing on 2D game development with SDL to know about this tool. All right, folks, hopefully you had fun with this lesson and making some sounds. It might have been something new for you, or perhaps you're a professional sound designer and you know way more than I do about this. If you do, go ahead and comment below and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss some of the other programming videos coming up. All right, folks, thanks for your time and we'll see you in the next one.